Diamondback terrapins are a priority species on Jekyll Island, and the Georgia Sea Turtle Center has studied these terrapins for many years. There are many ways to track a terrapin, all of which we have implemented. Different study techniques help us answer different questions, such as movement patterns, nesting habits, and how many terrapins are in a population. Together, these techniques help us better understand and protect species like diamondback terrapins. Let's take a look at some of these methods. Radio telemetry involves placing a radio transmitter on an individual terrapin. Radio transmitters placed on terrapins transmit signals that can be picked up by the receiver and tracking antenna, much like a radio picks up your favorite station. Researchers use audible beeps from a radio signal to find the exact location of a terrapin. Every nesting season, the GSTC conducts road surveys to look for females crossing our causeway, and GPS units are used to keep track of the location where every terrapin is encountered. The GPS location allows researchers to map each female's location and test to see if there are areas on the causeway where more females tend to cross the road. These are called hot spots. This helps researchers make management decisions to alleviate some of the threats they face. Decisions might be committing more time to patrolling these frequently crossed areas, placing signs, or placing nest boxes in particular areas. Additionally, every female encountered is marked with notches or small holes in the outer scoots of the shell. This does not hurt the turtle, but allows us to identify her if encountered again. This can help researchers determine how many individual terrapins there are each year and across years. It can also help researchers discover how often individual terrapins nest and whether the number of terrapins in the population is increasing or decreasing over time. Aerial surveys by use of drone technology, also known as remote sensing, is another way we have studied terrapin populations. Terrapins live in the marsh, which can be a very difficult habitat for a human to navigate. Drones allow for scientists to survey wildlife and habitats that would normally be less accessible. Additionally, they may disturb animals less than the presence of humans. Counting terrapins from drone footage can help researchers estimate how many terrapins might be spending time in each creek. This information is important to assess whether population numbers are healthy. Check out the following drone footage and see if you can count how many terrapins are surfacing in the Marsh Creek. Keep in mind that they are very small. How many terrapins did you count? Let's go back one more time and count them all. Research is an exciting field. Not only do researchers solve natural history mysteries to better learn how to protect wildlife in their homes, but ever-evolving technology continually improves the way in which we can study these secretive animals. Summer is an exciting time for Georgia Sea Turtle Center research. 
To stay up to date on the latest developments in the field, you can follow our Facebook and our Instagram.